just a little bit away from first pitch and on the mound today Nestor Cortez Jr. and singing he likes pitching at home. Well truly for him there is no place like home he's been so dominant here and as a teammate you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has the fans expect it and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher even though we don't see the same splits on the road we're going to start to see that translate as well swing and a foul straight back. And a foul ball. Turns and fires to Betts. He goes down looking. Probably throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow it just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Cortez, not a big strikeout guy, but still very effective as far as starting pitchers go. One of those guys that involves the defense and really gets him involved in the action. Outside. One and one. He moves the ball around all the quadrants of the strike zone and will add and subtract velocity. And because of that, he gets the weak contact. It's all about missing the barrel of the bat. And that just misses. It seems like this type of guy is kind of a dying breed nowadays. Well, exactly. When teams are looking for high velocity, high strikeout rates, a guy like this doesn't necessarily do that. So in order to really appreciate how good he is, you have to see him. Because if you're just looking at a stat sheet, you might overlook him. One down, base is empty. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Swings through that one for strike two. Next offering is downstairs. Two of the most potent offenses in the game squaring off. Not even close there. And it's two and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. The 2 2 gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. And Woody Keller right on it. Says he held up. The wind and the pitch. In the air, right field. And that's the third out. No score as we head to the bottom of the first. here in New York getting the nod in this one Gavin Stone singing he's been outstanding and should be fun to watch well when you have a guy that can limit the opponent to very little run production you have a great chance to win a ball game when he takes them out he's just having an outstanding season so far you hope he can maintain it because if he can he'll be in a nice conversation at the end of the year here's the shortstop at the play Anthony Volpe and he deals Volpe yeah. getting the start at shortstop, hitting leadoff in today's game. A former first round pick back in 2019. The 0 1. 0 1. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it's through for a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Here's Juan Soto. Put that 600 slugging into context. The league average usually in the low 400s. Pickoff throw back in their standing.
Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Next offering is foul back. One ball. Two Squirts three. away a little bit. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Yeah, the right hater deals. Rip to first. Caught. Dives for the bag. Got him. Double play. Got him. Good. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's been showing off some pop lately. Three homers already in this series. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. The one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Two outs, bases empty. And another ball. That one misses. And a count is three and one. Two outs. And Judge spoils that one. Looking for the K. We played an inning. No score. Second inning Rudy set Bob to go. Bob. And now, Teoscar Hernandez. Cortez back to work. And that's inside, off the inside edge. And it's one to know. Now a pop up on the infield. Rizzo under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Next to hit, Andy Pajes. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. That slider breaking in can be a tricky pitch. If you don't finish it and have that Ball bite at the out. end and it stays out over the plate, it can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Off to a strong start, Singy, as he's punched out three of the first five he's faced. Well, he's definitely minimizing contact. He can get the swing and miss when he needs it, but he'll also keep the defense fresh behind him, allowing some balls in play as well. And it falls. And that keeps the inning going. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cutter was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach, didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. Here's Kike Hernandez. Makes the catch inning over. So the Dodgers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back in the Bronx. And now Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. No. 
just missed. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. That clips a corner. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and it's caught for the out. Man, he just couldn't Not lay good. off right there. Those high well, fastballs, good. they just look really good because they're eye level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Here's Alex Verdugo. There's a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. And that's outside. And one and one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop up sometimes will carry out. And now it's even up. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. On the ground, right side. Steps on oh. first for the out. Batting six. The third baseman, DJ. Up to the plate oh, steps DJ LeMayhew. In for a strike. It's 0 1. And he takes a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0 2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Two down, nobody on. That misses. Going to count one and two. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Yanks held in check. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Miguel Vargas. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is one and one. The pitch. On the ground to third. Makes the sliding stop. Gathers and throws. And they get the out. Paul Boog is an infielder. You have to be ready for anything. In that spot, it required going to the ground, getting a little dirty, and making a strong throw for the out. Great play. So up next, Austin Barnes. In the dirt, 1-0. Fought off foul. One out, base is empty. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. That's off the mark. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Goes down looking. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. And now it's Mookie Betts. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And ball one.
That one ripped right center field. And it one hops the wall. Betts into second. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Jason Hayward. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that one is lifted in the air. Verdugo gets under it. He's got it. And that is out number three. One left for L.A. Still no score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Anthony Rizzo. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Betts snags it. And a quick out number one. Batting it. The second baseman. Here comes Glaber Torres. And a strike to Glaber. The guy's going this good. He's retired seven in a row. You got to step out of the box, fake bunt, do something to break it up. Just missed. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. Swing and a miss. One and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Here's Jose Trevino. That one fouled off. And they'll do it again. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Trying to get him to chase on the change up that time. And he chases that one. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Go the Yankees. And we're still knotted at zero. at Yankee Stadium. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. You'll won. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, He's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Left-hand batter waits. Freeman tries to check his swing. Now we'll look to third. That's a strikeout. Woody Keller says he won a round. And now Teoscar Hernandez. He popped out his first time. Hernandez, in his seventh season, 31 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. That clips the corner. 0 and 1. That one, one not close. 
and it's one and one. Just missed. Fourth inning underway, no score. And a 2 1 hammered, but foul. The pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him, and. You know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact, but that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Now here is Andy Pajas. Rizzo gets under it. Pulls it in to end the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. And midway in the fourth, no score. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Anthony Volpe. The why to kick the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Stays alive. The That's shortstop ball, takes the ball. Three Next pitch two. is downstairs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Right hander kicks, deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. Righty delivers. Out to short. Bats up with it. Zips it across. One out in the bottom of the fourth. The bat. The designated hitter. Long. And now it's Juan Soto. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Fastball for a strike. Going one. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there on the mound. And it's quickly nothing in two on uh, the designated hitter. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Line drive. Fair ball! Ripped that one down the line and kept it fair. And even when you hit it that far out front, you still have to keep your hands tight to your body so you don't hook around that baseball and put it in foul territory. And that right there was perfect. Man at first with one gone. Aaron Judge stepping in now for the Yankees. That one's in there, 0 1. 0 1's the count. Soto at first, one gone. And a pitch. 
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Struck him out looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there. That's strike one. Big swing and a miss. Another 0 2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. Two gone, but the go ahead run is at first. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. That nope. one's upstairs, ball one. And yeah, the count one and two. It's a good take. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for the Yankees. And we are still scoreless. Back at Yankee Stadium. New inning getting started. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Cortez back to work. Fastball for a strike. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit Whoa, today. Man. Good eye right there. The one, two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And a swing and a miss. Picks up strikeout number seven. Here's Kike Hernandez. Oh for one so far. And a strike on the outside edge. All tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. That one fouled off. The punch out there. Two down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what. Pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Left field. Now the left fielder, Miguel Vargas. That's in for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. And here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. Him swinging. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. In the Bronx, we, we head Four to the bottom Yankees. of the fifth. Here's the, the left, left fielder, field. Alex Verdugo. Verdugo. The right hander back to work. And a good nope. eye there. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Into the outfield, base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. 
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Check on the runner. No, he said... And that one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Oh, that's low. Way to lay off that pitch down. The 1-1. One, one. Just oh, missed. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The 2-2. Two -two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. That ball is foul. And the pressure is building. The pitch. In the air right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The batter, the first baseman, Anthony. Rizzo. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Flied out his first time. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Man at first, one away. Rizzo swings and belts one. Carrying well. Deep to right. And it's off the foul pole for a home run. He powers that one out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. And it gives him the lead in the fifth. It's 2-0. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it clanked off the pole. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair long enough. Here's Glaber Torres, and that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Two runs across in the inning, last half of inning number five. Not ball, close with right. that one, and it's a ball and a strike. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Hernandez makes the play, and there's two Catcher. away. Jose Trevino. Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. Struck out swinging his first time. Very high with that one, and that's ball one. foul ball and the pitch and it falls 
So now back to the top of the order. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Stepping in, Anthony Volpe. There's the strike. Gets the slider in there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. The shortstop takes a ball. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. He's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. Two outs. Pitch misses. And that's ball two. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Anthony Rizzo leaves the yard here. And it's 2-zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. And now the catcher the comes catcher. up to him. Austin, Austin Barnes. Barnes. Here comes a pitch. That Count one misses, and that is ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. That ball one two. missed. Now oh, three down. and oh. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And there's a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass that could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one don't want to wake a team up with a free pass now it's Mookie Betts yeah. one for two swing and a miss nice change up good pitch right there anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber especially with runners on it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. LeMayhew to out. second. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. As a former player, watching 5 4 3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Next is the designated hitter, Jason Hayward. Hey. Swing and a miss, strike one. All ones, the count. This one rip, but foul to the right. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. The Dodgers trailing by two, and we're the top half of the sixth. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Freddie Freeman up Freddie. to the dish. Freeman. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Hayward, the runner at first with two gone. In the air, right side. 
and it stays fair. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. A couple of singles back to back. Looked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Ball one low. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Fouled off, he was late. Falling behind two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. That misses, and now three balls and a strike. Two on, two outs. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Andy Pajas digs in now. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. On the ground, and that one handled. Off balance throw in time. Out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. It's the Yankees two and the Dodgers nothing. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the sixth inning. Juan Soto now. And a pitch. There's the strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Oh, Inside okay. just missed. The Dodgers bullpen with some action. Shohei Otani looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Bonda getting loose as well. On the ground, right side. He'll do it himself. One up, one down. The center fielder, number 99, Aaron. Judge. Here comes Aaron Judge, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. First pitch misses. Ball one, no strike. Wouldn't Ball. chase that time. Struggled a little bit in this one. Couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. and oh. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. One down, base is empty. Fouls one off, two and two. That's inside. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely now an individual performance right you want to flush. He just hasn't ball. looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. And first offering is fouled off. And that one missing low. Right through there for a strike. That one off the mark, and the count is two and two. Yep. 
And that's downstairs and outside. And he's close as he's trying to get through six full innings right now. He's about to throw his 100th pitch. I'd be surprised if this isn't it for him. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So they go quietly there. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Yankees two and the Dodgers nothing. Back in New York, digging in, Miguel Rojas. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. And right back to the mound. To first, that's the first out, the top of the seventh. Now batting, third baseman. Now the third baseman, Kike Hernandez. These two offenses could put up runs in a hurry. Swing and a foul straight back. One down, base is empty. And a foul ball left side. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Kicks and fires. That one almost got him. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And up next for Los Angeles, Miguel Vargas. Up next for Vargas, the left fielder, Miguel Vargas. In there, and it's 0-1. Movement in the oh, Yankees right. pen. Clay Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Santana, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. The pitch. And there's a fly ball deep right field. Stanton going back. Just missed it. Another scoreless inning. And now that's seven shutout frames. It's the Yankees two and the Dodgers nothing. Pitching change here. Anthony Bunda. Number and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. And stepping in for the Yankees, for the Alex Yankees. Verdugo. No left fielder. Alex. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Bonda, 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. The wind and the pitch. That big curve inside's a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of the hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. In the air, right field, and there's one down. Now batting, third baseman. DJ. And now it's DJ LeMayhew Bob digging Mayhew. in. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And a foul ball. That misses the zone. One and two to count. Oh, two count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. And a pitch. And Good another ball. ball. Pitch in the dirt. And now it's three and two. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Good battle here about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. They had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. And up next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at bat right here. In for a strike, and it's 0 1. And a swing and a miss. I think he was a little excited there, saw the fastball, but needed a stepladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. One ball. He wants to have a good at bat. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Wouldn't chase that time. Next offering is down low. Two down, nobody on. And they'll do it again. And he walked him. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Torres up to the plate for the third time as he looks at one down low. Rizzo off of first with two away. Next pitch is outside. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. And there's a ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Outside, and that is ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. So first and second with two outs. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Jose Trevino. Inside corner, that's a strike. One one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Swing and a miss. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear down. Those last two pitches were well executed. Two outs. Lace to right center base hit. Rizzo on his horse around third. The throw in, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Back to the top of the Yankee order. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. One for three. And that drops in for a strike. Two on, two outs. Ground ball to the right side. Throw on to Freeman. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 3-0.
back at Yankee Stadium. And here's the catcher, Austin Barnes. The Dodgers in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the laid off man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Ripped, but it curls foul. And that's in the dirt. Fights that one away, still one and two. And he deals. And downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And another ball. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Judge makes the grab one away. The the Here's Mookie to hit. Yeah. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. One down, base is empty. Up the middle, a dive, nice stop to his knee, the throw, on the money, nice play. This defense came to play tonight. We're seeing some awesome pitching, but a huge part of this shutout so far has been the defense making great plays like that behind their pitcher. They feed off of one another, make great pitches, make great plays defensively. And now Jason Hayward. Swing and a high fly ball, pretty well struck, right field. Out of here, a home run off the foul pole. He shoots one out to right. Third home run of the season, and they inch closer. It's 3-1. Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. And now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. Foul ball there. A little out front there as he swings through it. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. And another ball. And that one finds its way through. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Nestor Cortez Jr. Done for the night, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Clay Holmes. Well, you see the ERA very solid, and that doesn't always tell you the whole story, but he's been really good so far this year. Two outs, runner at first. Now it's the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One and one. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. Two and one. Good fastball there. I think it was a purpose pitch. Just want to make that hitter's feet uncomfortable. And that location will definitely do it. The tying run at the plate. On the ground out to short. They get the force out number three. But not before they answer back with a solo home run. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Shohei Otani. On for his Major League debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Well struck left field. That one back there. It has the distance gone. An absolute smash to left. His 18th home run of the season. It's 4-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Judge in the box now. No balls and a strike. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. That one ball way ball outside. Right. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Lake Trinan, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Ramirez warming up as well. Nobody on, nobody out. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. First punch out of the game for Otani. And we all know Shohei brings a lot of talent to the field on both sides of the ball. But that splitter is perhaps his biggest weapon on the mound. It's nasty when it's right. He gets a lot of swings and misses with that pitch. And a foul ball. All right, Singy, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. Had him way out front of the slur. Well, clearly Number just two. anxious right there, and understandably so in an 0-2 count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. At the belt and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Right-handed reliever. 
Bows that off to the left and will do it again. And the right hander deals. Bows it back with two strikes. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Bell having such a tough time putting him away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a foul. Nope. Just misses with that one. Foul ball still a one and two count. In an era with a lot of swing and miss and strikeouts, you got to love it at bat like this. No one giving in. And now two and two. About to see the 11th pitch of the at-bat here. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Solo homer extends the Yankees' lead. Last chance coming up here for the Dodgers. Back in the Bronx, all set to start the ninth in this one. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. And that one popped to short. Volpe settles under this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Now that second base he goes. He's two outs away. And next for L.A., Miguel Rojas. Pitch is in for a strike. It's 0-1. strike right there. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. It's a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. So it's their last chance in this one. At the play, Enrique Hernandez. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, well, that's that slurp oh, right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. The other way, and that's a fair ball. Makes the turn and heads for second. The tag, and that's the ball game. The number seven is such a cool and sort of lucky number. Well, this team has been playing really well, but to win seven games in a row, uh, there's been some luck and there's been some really good play. I think you get to this point, you start to look at, can we double that? Make it double digits, make it two touchdowns, make it 14. 4-1 Four the final here today. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.